It's the 1950s all over again in a miniature village built inside a warehouse in Chula Vista. Dozens of people with Alzheimer's, many in their 80s, are being encouraged to revive their memories of the bygone era at Glenner Town Square. Remember, Alzheimer's disease is, is, is a brutal disease, and we're really trying to create an experience for people that is very dignified um, and is very consistent with where their um, life has taken them. Scott Tardy is creator of the town and CEO of the nonprofit George G. Glenner Alzheimer's Family Centers. So, really designed to be um, like a functioning city, right? I mean, we have 10,000 square feet, 24 foot ceilings, natural skylights throughout. People with Alzheimer's suffer from a degenerative disease marked by memory loss, especially short-term impairment. Their minds are often trapped decades in the past. The new adult daycare center is working to help people regain long-term memories to improve their quality of life. Trained caregivers guide small groups through a dozen colorful and interactive storefronts and stations. Spend about 45 or 50 minutes in each storefront receiving customized programming based on somebody's likes, interest levels, cognitive functioning. Including a vintage store, movie theater, and a little blue house. So it kind of looks like grandma's kitchen, and we do all kinds of activities there, including um, playing cards, listening to music. Um, right now we're doing an art program. Each area is designed with 1950s artifacts to reflect their lives when they were in their teens or 20s. Rotary dial phones, newspapers from back in the day, they're all prompts for social engagement. Tardy says the village is designed around a concept called reminiscence therapy. That's a lot of times when people make their first memories, if you will. So graduating high school, graduating college, marriage, children, first jobs. Tardy, who has worked with Alzheimer's patients for two decades, says triggering memories helps reduce anxiety. He says the village also gives people a sense of purpose. If they used to work in an office, we have an office. If they used to visit a diner, we have a diner. If they like, enjoy, uh, they like to go to the library and enjoy books, we have a library. Participants can tinker with an old Ford at the gas station. They can hold baby dolls at the clinic. <laughs> play pool or shoot hoops at the pub. There we go. Lunch is served at Ruby's Diner with their favorite oldies playing from a jukebox. <laughs> While the Alzheimer's patients are remembering the past, researchers have converged in San Diego to focus on the present. Heather Snyder is National Senior Director of Scientific Operations at the Alzheimer's Association. There are over 5.7 million Americans living with Alzheimer's today, more than 15 million people that are providing care and support for someone living with Alzheimer's or dementia. In San Diego County, 84,000 people have Alzheimer's disease or dementia. Snyder says more than 200 clinical trials are underway in the search for an Alzheimer's treatment. When we look across that entire pipeline, we see drugs, for instance, or experimental drugs, for instance, that are targeting the beta amyloid protein. This is one of the hallmark brain changes that we see in Alzheimer's, the clumps of the beta amyloid protein. While there's promise, Snyder says there's currently no cure and no therapy to slow the progression. But where, where we are now is our understanding that the biology is changing a decade or more before an individual's memories are changed or affected. It gives us an opportunity to think about, can we intervene at that earlier time point and change the trajectory? Snyder says one encouraging new study involving 9,000 people shows that aggressively lowering systolic blood pressure to 120 could significantly reduce the risk of the disease. 19% less people develop mild cognitive impairment and 15% less people develop mild cognitive impairment and dementia. For now, the disease is the third leading cause of death in San Diego. By the year 2030, the number of people in the county diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia is expected to soar 36 percent. At Glenertown Square, Scott Tardy is hoping to make the disease more tolerable for patients and their families. He says the region is not prepared for the future. We have to be ready for this influx because you have all these baby boomers coming through that are going to, at some point, need services. And the greatest predictor of Alzheimer's disease is age. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.